Greetings ladies and gentlemen, I'm Romek from the Snap Mania and this is a deck where you get to play Arrow, you get to play Elsa, Jean Grey, Ghost Spider, Kitty Pride. No matter what waifu you have, it's a waifu fest. There's even Silk and even if you like the guys, there's Craven and Shang-Chi. And well, this deck won a 7 cubes in infinite against the best decks and players in the game so i can consider this deck being pretty good now does it beat loki and everything no no of course it doesn't beat loki nothing beats loki so don't expect to hear that if a youtuber tells you that they're lying to you that deck is absolutely to your zero but let's go over the car by car. We have Kitty Pride, who is so good with Jean Grey, Angela, Elsa, Bloodstone. And she's great with Craven and Silk as you get to keep replaying them. Ghost Spider lets you access the five cost you played on the fifth turn to move it somewhere else. And if it's still buffed by Elsa Bloodstone, you get to move it there. And that's how we won some games against Werewolf by Night Loki decks. Like it was a really good one. And that's how we beat Darkhawk. Angela is actually just such a... I mean, is she as amazing as she was before? Of course not. Basically, her power output has decreased double, but she's a good card. Elsa Bloodstone is, like, she's just a insane card. Absolutely. Smackaroni, incredible. She's not plus three, but she's plus two. That's pretty good. Craven is actually has a lot of synergy with Silk, with Jeff, and that's how we won a lot of games. Especially, don't forget that Arrow will buff the Craven by two. So when you're doing calculations, try to think about that in your mind. Jean Grey is the reason the deck is so good because she lets you not lock out your opponent in the normal fashion like where they can't play cards no they play cards and they set you up with that which means now sometimes you can just let them play a card there and they're like oh i'm gonna play one card that's really big here and my opponent won't be able to answer it boom will arrow that card somewhere else and so they're still focused on playing on there which means Kitty Pride gets the access there and we get the Shang-Chi there it's such an incredible combination because then we can even move the arrow somewhere else with Ghost Spider there's just so much synergy going on it's a really fun deck it's a really big brain deck so if you like big brain decks and you cannot lie make sure to like comment and subscribe so you can move me to your favorite Marvel Snap content creators but without further ado let's get snapping Okay guys, let's play a couple of games of this new move deck with Kitty Pride, Arrow and Jean Grey. Now is this deck amazing? No. No, this does nothing against Loki, then don't expect anything to do against Loki. If I get one comment of it saying, but Tromic, this deck is worse than Loki. No, no, I cannot believe it. It's not as good as the tier 0 best deck ever made in the entire game that gets buffs for some reason. Like, I, do, I don't understand. Second Dinner is an absolute joke that they kept that deck. Like, I love... I saw one thing. Hearthstone had an overpowered card. That, like, some snake. And they're nerfing it three days after release. Like, they're immediately... We're sorry. We're gonna... It's too broken. We're gonna delete it. Of course Fisk Tower and the first thing we're playing is... Of course I'm playing a move deck and Fisk Tower is there. But... And they immediately were like, oh, we're nerfing this. We're sorry, that was a bad call. The card was way too overpowered. I can, we cannot believe we released it in such a way. And then what happens? We have Marvel Snap where Loki is broken for three months. Three months of Loki. Don't you love it? Like, isn't it fun? I'm just... I'm completely done. With their BS of it being like... We, and the fact... I also read a statement. Where they said this. Okay, who's ready? Who's ready to absolutely shit? Because I am. I'm, become, I'm completely prepared. So. The thing they've been saying. Like, recently. Is this. So, we don't know how to continue this series drops? What do you mean? No, no, I want to know what does that mean? We don't know how to continue the series drops. So I know how to. Just release more cards. So we can play them, you know? Like, like that's how you continue them. It ain't rocket science, guys. You can do that. It's comp like it's lunacy. Just complete lunacy. That we're even having this conversation right now. Like, I'm... Beyond tired of listening to some stupid corporate BS where we have to just keep hearing yap 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 about how balanced Loki is and about, about how what a big giga chat he is. No. No, I am tired of it. I'm tired of seeing it and I don't want to see it. Not anymore. Like, I'm tired. 
And most of you are too, I, I see it, I read your comments, guys, like, I know. If anyone knows, I know. And they're dead. Great job to us, we beat Darkhawk, like, Darkhawk shuffle stuff into our deck, even though they got Nebula and we couldn't really play into it, because we had to take care of their Darkhawk while we could. But let's continue, I want to continue this rant, I'm feeling good. And the problem is... We just constantly hear all this yap, yap, yap. No, guys, series drops can't continue. We don't know how to monetize it. We've been asking to return borders. Like, okay, I'm scared of legitimately upgrading my art germ carnage. The, from the red to something else. Why? Because I know I can't bring it back. And they said we don't know how to make it accessible yet. Like, did, does anyone believe this? Like, do, does anyone believe that they don't know how to? Or did they just not figure out a way to make them get a paycheck out of it? Fisk Tower two games in a row and I'm playing a move deck. Absolute joke game. But, okay. Let's try to be a bit more positive. And by positive, I mean only one thing. At least the YouTubers are actually fun to watch. Cozy is fun, of course. I actually started to watch a little bit of Marvel Snap YouTubers to see what their opinion is on the game. And, of course, like... Of course, we're not gonna see eye to eye on everything. They make way more money than I do off of any of this, so... Yeah, I know we won't agree on a lot of things. Because, guys, it's their livelihood. They gotta make money, I understand. Like, I'm not I'm not so pitiable to not note the cause of what's happening. But the point I'm trying to make is, at least at the end of the day, they're people. But there is a certain YouTuber that I've seen that just constantly yaps against every single YouTuber in the entire Marvel Snap game. My good friend, actually we're not friends at all, Jeff Hoogland. Why does Jeff love just completely this, like, the shits on everybody? I don't understand. Like, why? Doesn't Jeff like, like the game? Doesn't he consider, like, I, I don't know what was the post. I can't remember right now. And not like it really matters what the post was. The post, what I'm talking about, is actually, he just was talking like, all, I mean, I'm gonna even use the Jeff Hoagland voice everyone loves me to use. We're just gonna snow guard Hawk here just on Fist Tower. There's not much to explain, like, guys, you know what the deck does. It's a move deck, like, you know what it is. Hmm. This arrow is key. I'll play a snow guard bear. And then move the with the ghost spider. Wait. They they don't know. But we do. All we need one thing is priority. Well, all we need is priority. We'll snap back, most definitely. Wait, I'll actually I'll just play Angela and Ghost Spider. Yeah, that lets me empty out the lanes. Helps me just play Shang. We draw Elsa, Silk, Jeff, or something. We always draw a two cost. Unless that's specifically the thing they draw. Yeah. How about that? Like, that is the absolute worst one. Well, I need to basically predict. They still die to life. They know that, right? Man, that was a hero call. Holy shit. We always win. That was eight. This is eight cubes. No way I'm losing. Oh my god, that was a hero call right there. We won eight cubes, but as I'm saying, just I'm so tired of Jeb Hoagland being an absolute ass to everybody in the community. I even saw a Reddit post that was like, yeah, I like that he's calling these people out. What is he calling them out for? He's just being really rude. Like, I'll get the post right here. Anyway, I know you guys love Ghost Tromek whenever I get up the giant thing that glows on my face, but I don't care. I'm so, I'm like not even, I'm not friends with anybody. So I have absolutely no ties to them. To them. Like, you guys know that much. I'm like completely outside of the entire YouTuber spectrum. I, like, nobody is my friend from there. So I have no ties to them. And I don't even want any. Like, I'm just fine being in my own world. I'm completely okay with every single one of them. And I'm completely fine with not being okay with any single one of them. Because this is the end of the day, guys. This isn't my career. 
I'm having fun and I like recording for you guys. That's what I record for. For the fans, because you got without you guys, I don't even have a YouTube channel. I'm just a idiot screaming into a mic while playing. And we're probably up against Loki. Morbius! Morbius is interesting, considering if we draw Jean Grey, we win. Right? Like, this card can't play on curve. Like, they don't have any way. Oh, uh, well, I think we lose, actually. This hand is too bad. We could have maybe had it. We had Elsa or Gamora. Or Alive. I don't run Alive, as most of you don't have him. So I'll just try to make without, make do without him. I'll play Silk Mid. Let's see, if they, it's Lady Sif, we're kind of dead. Okay, so this is the post. Who are your favorite Marvel Snap streamers who don't constantly block their turn 6 for fear of stream time and don't randomly play adverts over gameplay? And then I read something else. So, everyone is like talking about this little thing he said. And I consider it so, I don't know, disingenuous. Because, Jeff, weren't you the guy who said, uh, like, you play adverts all the time. Like, you play adverts all the time, you said so, and you're like, because it builds hype. I'll read the exact comment, like, someone got to him. Like, he makes good decks, but I really don't like his personality or how he, how he acts. I agree. He seems like a real bitter person. Like, he seems re really aggro and boring and just like, I don't know, he doesn't seem like a fun guy to get a beer with. I'll do this. Okay. I'm expecting a Modoc or something to drop at any po moment. Jesus Christ, we just won't draw anything. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> fuck. Okay. Maybe I should have moved Jeff left. Wait, we have priority. This might work out. Holy shit. Wait. Do, do we win? Huh? Well, that, that, that's one way to lose. If I snap now, do I bluff a life? Wait. What is the way to win? How? What is the right way to climb this little tower we have made for ourselves? We always have to hawk. If he plays... Bro, I'm dead always. What am I even thinking about? Okay, uh, until then we'll just keep talking. So, so, so. What are we talking about? I don't really watch Marvel Snap streamers, but I'm here to say that Jeff Hoagland is a wimpy crybaby imagining so spineless. Yeah, that is the thing. It's the fact he doesn't specifically call out anybody. Guys, how many times have I already said, hey, and now everyone that got Gladiator, Cozy will put like a destroy Deadpool deck, and the only thing that will be changed is he will replace one card with Gladiator. And what happened? That's the exact deck he released. I know, I make videos too. I know when to cut corners. Like, because guys, recording videos is really hard. I'm absolutely lying, it's not that hard. But being entertaining is pretty hard, and selling people on a mid-card is also pretty bad. That's why I didn't try to sell any of you. I was immediately like, bro, bro, bro this guy, this doesn't work. This guy's gar- this guy's garbage. I mean, Gladiator isn't garbage. He's- he punches above his own weight, I think he's kinda decent. But I don't think he's really that great. But the fact that Jeff doesn't even have the balls to say something like, Yo, you specifically. He's like, I'm not gonna mention any names. Bro, just say who you mean, you little spineless shit. Like, it's so annoying. Like, just say, just say me then. Like, you. Yes, you. I mean you. You, you, you piss me off. Like, shut up. Like, at least that, like, it's a little like a pre maybe preschool girl, like, I don't want to name names, but but this guy was mean to me. Like, d d dude, you're a grown ass man. Shut up. It's quite annoying. Sorry, guys. I just have to get it off my chest. I really hate when people are just such like bad snakes. Like, you don't want you don't have the balls to say it. And like his reasoning isn't even that great. I just don't like it. You're blocking. Of course, people block turn six. People, because in this game. Turn 6 is way more important than in any other game, because we can double the stakes. No wonder people don't want to get stream sniped. It's like it's a really, really bad experience that can happen to you. And you would probably complain about knowing you, Jeff. The only thing I hear from you is always wah, wah, wah. Like, it's always wah, 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 wah. There we go. Now I have beef with Jeff Fuglin. Can't wait to see that I'm blocked. Honestly, I look forward to it. It'll be pretty funny if I am blocked. That'd be great. 
<laughs> Imagine being blocked by Jeff Hogan. That must be like a badge of honor in some states. Like, guys, I got blocked by Jeff Hogan. <gasps> you got blocked by Jeff Hogan? Honestly, I think playing Snow Guard here is not even the play. I'll play Arrow because I think there's gonna be some shenanigans. Yep! What is it? Show me. Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? 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 That, that was... That was a very confusing string of events. I have no idea what happened there. Huh. What? That makes no sense. What just happened? Who let second dinner cook? Like, what? Okay, I guess that did not work in the best way I intended. Okay. Play Jeff there, I'll... Hmm. The way we're going so far is... Yeah, I have to play Ghost Spider here and then Snow Guard here to get Silk back mid. And that buffs also her. Huh? Okay. We do win! Incredibly so. There's Ghost Spider. There goes Silk. And finally, there goes Snow Guard to bounce it all back to mid. Of course, she dies. Why wouldn't she? It's my luck we're talking about. But there we go. We won two cubes. I'm just... I'm glad I got that off my chest, now I'm back in the game, I can go play! Plus, that was a Galactus Spider-Woman junk deck. Viper doesn't work like that, dude. What? There we go, we got Toxic Chronic back in the building. It's me, it's me, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go be annoying to everybody. As someone that's always used, I'm just gonna, you know what, this is a great talking point. I wanna talk about this as, I haven't been talking about anybody, ever. I always just am like, like, in my own little world, which I like, I, I don't care, like, Guys, the drama and all that shit. I'm as far away from that as possible. Like, I don't care. At the end of the day, I'm just a, I'm just a guy. Like, my opinion isn't the end-all, be-all. I'm gonna make mistakes. I'm gonna say stupid shit all the time. Because that's me. And I'm just gonna... Okay, guy is salty that Dara has better numbers than him. A lot of people are responding to this one. Who's Dara again? I have no idea. We got the Limbo in the mid lane. We got Jeff, Angela, Gamora, Shang-Chi. We'll play... If this is Destroy... We need Jean. Is this Patriot? I don't know. The Forge delay makes me think that it's a Brood, right? Anyone else got that little bit of a conundrum? Huh? Okay... I guess not. Gradieta! Don't hit my Jean! No! Elsa! Not like I really need her. I mean, she's fine. I can live without her. Hmm. Yeah, we'll so far let it happen like this. Werewolf by night! Well, we kinda screwed him. Can we draw a silk? Ooh, yeah, yikes. That's not great. I mean, this is a guaranteed Gamora. I want Ghost Spider in this hand. I, I'm not gonna try to cancel Limbo out early. I don't really see the value in it. Maybe this is a junk deck. I don't know why, it kind of feels like one. The Werewolf by Night is kind of the dead giveaway. Wow! Wow! What the fuck? Who is this? Loki with Gladiator? I don't get it. Maybe it is. Maybe I'm the idiot. Who who am I to say? Who am I to... Like, what? <laughs> okay. Interesting. I, I'm saying interesting, not good. We will... Hmm. Like, at the end of the day... This arrow has to, like, carry. Damn, we didn't get Ghost Spider. That was the one card I really needed here. Man, maybe the Snow Guard was great for canceling Limbo out early, but... They have so much power that's at their disposal now... That... I'll try an arrow mid... Move the Jeff right and Kitty Pride left. Okay. I like this. 
There's a werewolf again. A forge once more. Uh, buff on the gladiator. That's gonna be ghost spider. Please. That moves the Gamora. Thank God. We made our opponent misplay. Like, that was absolute key. That's what we kind of needed. Huh? Okay. We moved their Shadow King. Does that mean we have priority now? It does. Good job to us. Now let's try to carry all that momentum to the finish line. Do we just bluff snap even though it's not that amazing of a hand? Hell yeah. You gotta bluff snap sometimes. Yeah, I'll, I'll put Silk there just... I don't even need the... I'm playing like I have Elsa Bloodstone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm piloting with Elsa in my head. I'm like, oh yeah, we got Elsa, we're cooking, we're, that's how it is. Hacking, hacking, hacked. Like, come on. Yeah, this way Silk always moves into the limbo. Since we have to anticipate that, Kitty Pride, Shang-Chi... We kill that, punch this and change that until finally we have most of what we need. There's Shang and is that the last card a non-reveal? That's all that matters now. If the last card is a non-reveal or not. Because we just couldn't stand up to Werewolf by Night. Wait, but that makes the Silk move. Please go left, Silk! Oh, it didn't matter anyway. We won four cubes! I thought the silk moving left mattered. Okay, it didn't. So my calculations were a little off, but we did do it. I have no idea why didn't they just leave the werewolf by night on right. That was like what I was fearing the most, but they didn't play around it. Oh my, this deck is kind of insane. I didn't lose a game so far. I'm, I'm pretty much impressed. But let's continue. Okay, I want to see what other people's opinion is on this. Because I'm just really tired of people back smack talking everybody like if you have a problem with somebody at least here in serbia you like tell them like no you're doing some dumb shit stop like we don't like that we are very confrontal when it comes to that a, a junk deck again really another oh, oh was this a repeat of the same game just this time it's personal i don't get it i'll play El submit i don't want to let them pop off for free. Like, if he's gonna Viper, he's gonna have to pay for it. Who's this? Another Loki list? I don't get it. At least it's something It's something more unique. Oh, Jean Grey and Titan. Don't Viper now, please. Well, it is a Loki list. Like, no matter what, we know what this guy is a messenger of. Of no fun zone allowed. Yeah, this works. Really well, so, I might add. The Ghost Spider is what really lets us move for free. He needs exactly a one cost on reveal, paired with a free cost or a two cost. Not only does he have it, he has like four of them. This is ridiculous. Why is a werewolf by night a plus two? I'll, a plus one? I'll never understand. Oh, rat! But but what? Okay. Yeah, I guess he gets to keep Titan for free. We still have Limbo going on. He didn't play the loca he didn't play location swappers that Loki usually does. I need some tempo though. Arrow just then dies. I'd rather play Gamora. Because I can't get her effect off. Hmm. He's snapping. Let's see. I'm not afraid, not yet. We need only Shang to win. And I can move the nine attack, Gamora. And Silk will move with her. Hmm. So that's it. So that's it, huh? There we go. The silk will move. I need to find a way to lock him in. 
right now. Like, there, there is Jean Grey doing the locking, but we need to do more. I'll just play Kitty there and Arrow... Do I just play Arrow left? As I know, maybe he won't play mid. This is actually really good. If I if I get Shang now we win probably. No. No. No Shang really. No Shang. How is this card of fair? Just such a bitch is a 110. <laughs> like come on, dude. Like, at least Elsa was a 221 you had to play for. <laughs> I hate Elsa as well, but this is just, like, pushing it. What else does he have in his hand? He has a demon. No, he only brought back, a uh, Hood. I love how Shang-Chi just insta-kills everything here. We don't have him. We didn't draw him. No, like, maybe I should run Shadow King. I just don't have the room. This all deals with every other deck. That's the real problem, like, the, all of the other things deal with other decks, but just, I need the Shang, we didn't get it. Yeah, like, Shang was basically the instant win, but you just sometimes don't draw it, and that's how, the, well, that's how you lose. Just sometimes you don't have them when you really need them. And my head looks like a mushroom. Jesus Christ, my haircut is awful. I'm gonna have to shave it on Monday. What a horrible haircut. I'm sorry, guys, you have to see this. Look at it. Ew. Hotel Inferno. Of course, they didn't draw any of my free one-drops. And now he's gonna snipe my Shang, or, or G... Bless... But blessing by the Lord, I can... <laughs> Craven mid. We won't snap as we don't have Gene, and like, the Gene is what makes the deck tick so well. Maybe we will have the Gene. Or maybe we won't. <laughs> oh. No one drops were drawn this game, holy shit. Romic is going to shit. Like, I cannot believe this. I know this is a reverse Angela, but... I oh, God, dude. I'm sleeping here, brother. Yo, yo, yo. Man, he man's going in. Please jump mid, Silk. Oh, wait. That's not how the card works. Really? Against that version of High Evo? Of course, what else would it be? It's the only thing that really damages us completely, so... Let's see if there's anything we can do. Wait. If Silk jumps... Well. There's no way. What's he trying to infinite? Well, should I bluff snap then? Man, bluff snapping is really bad. There's no way he got a reduction in cost. Hmm. Yeah, this play has to win. This has to be it. Bluff snapping is the best idea I have. Basically because Jean Grey makes them think it's alive. Let's try. If he snaps back, we just retreat. And boys, that's how it works. Like, oh god, why not? Why not retreat, dude? It's a liar. Like, are you stupid? Like, what are you fucking an, an, an idiot? I don't understand. Like, why would you stay? It's so obvious. Like, what he's setting up. Sometimes you just have to be a complete idiot to do something. It's like, yeah, yeah, I'm staying in. 
But there's Jean Grey. Like, she sets you up into life. Oh, no, no, I'm going. Like, what the heck? You people need to sleep. How? How do you already have... I have no words. Like, there are no words. Do you sleep? That is like... What? What? I have to check after the game? What? What? Already? Like, that is... Battle Pass level 4. Oh my... Guys, he, he finished the Battle Pass. Huh? What? That is that is ridiculous. Just there are no words. Wave three oh five. Wow, they really need to have opened incredibly well. Doctor Doom somewhere? I'm guessing. But where? Gamora, pull out your sword. Actually, of course. Why would you play it in the Silk Lane? What if I played Craven? Oh, Lord of Misplays. Please hit them. With a baseball bat, like God. I love how it was going so well and now everyone is just like, No, no, I'm just gonna draw like the most cracked hand you've ever seen in your life. And you're not gonna draw your payoffs until the final game. Oh, Jean Grey does nothing there. How does this work? Is the bug still alive? Because if it is, we can win in a very funny way. <laughs> it's Cerebro 5, doesn't matter. This deck is awful, but we're gonna lose just because we did. they draw God Hand. My fucking ass. Nice! Just... Ridiculous hand. Well, they're locked out. Not like it'll matter, but they are locked. For all it's worth. Now they just play Cerebro or Miss Marvel and we're dead. We can't even do a really cool play because Silk will just move somewhere else. That's a retreat later right there. Okay, that was enough for this deck. Like, we were supposed to stop playing the game where we get a lot of value. And, like, when we already have, like, we're up by how many cubes? Seven cubes. Good enough for me. Considering I made this in five minutes just by putting in move and trying to pull pilot arrow for a, like, a nice thumbnail because I really like arrow. Let's go back to deck edit. No what I have needed here, all I wanted to, was to play Arrow, Gamora, and Jean Grey. All of the waifus, we got them in there. So this is like one of the most fun decks, I think. And I wanted to see Kitty Pride perform again. It, it is basically the waifu deck and Craven Shang-Chi. Maybe Craven and Shang-Chi walk into a bar. That's what I should call the deck. But it was really good. It has a good matchup against most things. It, it can beat Loki. Nothing can. Now, I would lie to you if I say it beats Loki. Nothing beats Loki if you play it well. But, hey, was the deck good? It was. And it has a great matchup against most things, as you have a lot of tricky ways to win. You have Jean Grey, you have Kraven, you have Jeff. Silk is also a really fun card. Sometimes a really frustrating card, but a lot of... I think you need to turn on your brain if you want to play this deck. It's not for the faint of heart. Plus, you get a, finally a chance to say... I'm playing Arrow in the year of 2023 after her nerfs. But if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. And I will see you in the Snap Mania. Take care, everyone.